Uh, today, uh, I think today's the 27th. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fully refund you that amount. Um... And this is what we just pulled up to. As you can see, maybe over there. Sorry, Jayla, we're in your way. And over here a little bit. It is uber flooded everywhere. <laughs> It, and they, they didn't tell us that it was closed. So the um, website online just let us book the site, didn't say anything about closures, no nothing, like the other one did, because there were two, and the other one's like, yeah, we're closed. We're ruined and flooded and all that other stuff. But this one didn't say anything on the website. And so we booked it for a good couple nights. We're excited, we're like, hey, we're not too far from San Diego um, and our wedding and everything that we need to be at, but we are without a place now. So, Jayla's looking up some hotels and stuff. This is a work thing. Um, we were trying to avoid getting a hotel or Airbnb because they were a little more expensive in San Diego, but there are no campgrounds. There's no nothing. This place is a big city. There's nowhere to camp unless we just like pull up in a truck stop. And that's not really ideal for what, three nights or whatever we have to do here. Cause we got a couple shoots and stuff to do. So <laughs> we're looking now, but we'll keep you posted. Um, we've already been in the car for three hours, poor Coda's itching to get out. Uh, so, we're looking now, hopefully we find something, praying that we find something. Okay, a little update, like five minutes later. Um, we got our refund, we called the lady, got our refund, and then Jayla was looking at hotels and then Airbnbs. Um, there are a couple hotels which weren't horrible. And then we were like, oh, maybe somebody's running a sale just to get in a couple nights booked for their Airbnb. So we checked there and we actually found some because originally we looked at Airbnbs because it would just be easier um, with having shoots multiple days in a row and doing work and all that stuff. Um, and what do you know, we found a deal. So we're getting directions now and we're gonna head over there. So for the next three, four days, three nights, we're gonna be Airbnb adventures. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe that this is happening to us so we were super excited to stay in this place and we were trying to save some money while i was doing all my photography stuff and so we found this place that is like 30 minutes from where my wedding is at showers and everything and it was going to be perfect and save us a lot of money for this trip and i just can't believe that we pulled up and like they didn't call us, email us, nothing that it was closed. And that just like really sucks because we've had a few campgrounds. Now in the past, I've been really bad in like reaching out to people and like things are like closing. Like one time we needed a gate code for something and they like attempted, barely attempted to call us. Like they didn't even leave us a message so we didn't know that they had reached out to us and some weird things like that so it's just super disappointing because this is also like so pretty over here and i was just really looking forward to it and it just sucks to have to be spending more money especially after we just fixed the car but there's really no other camping options for us in this area but it just really sucks to have to drive more but honestly the airbnb i think will be a blessing in the long run it's close to a lot of the things that we want to do and it was the right price so it was a really good deal but it's just so crazy and kind of frustrating to be dealing with this kind of thing yet again so hopefully their b and stuff is good taste of the flooding situation you can tell that the water was a lot higher out here but we just been driving back on this road and there's lots of water kind of everywhere. So now we're getting to the drive portion. What's up guys? So we are out here in San Diego. We got settled into our Airbnb the other day, which was really nice. And then yesterday I had my wedding, which went so, so well. And I'm super grateful for it. But today I have been so tired and just have been working on catching up on work and all of that good stuff. But we have a few things that we wanted to do here in California on the coast before we head back out east into the desert. So those things for us, I really wanna to go to Sunset Cliffs and see in San Diego. I wanna to go to the ocean and put our toes in the water. So that way we could say that we have been 
all the way from Florida to here, ocean to ocean. I wanna go get in and out in California because that just seems like the right thing to do. And then we also wanna go on a hike somewhere and I also wanna go get gelato in a little spot. Um, I think those are our five things that we wanna do. So super excited to do those. Right now we are headed to the ocean and the beach because it is just about like a 12 minute walk from our Airbnb and it's a super big dog friendly beach which is so awesome. So we are gonna head there, spend the evening there with the sunshine since we know we have some rain coming in, in tomorrow and hopefully we catch a beautiful sunset tonight. Oh, did we make it? We made it to the beach. There she is, all for glory. Do you find a stick? Hi. Hi, girl. Hi. Oh, yes. Hello. Is he ready to play with you? Is he going to play with you? I think we're gonna call it. for sunset but now it's really chilly so we're gonna head back to the airbnb because we're cold and did not bring our jackets but at least we got to hang out in the ocean tonight and i gotta put my toes in the water which was great so we're headed back now that's a cute part back on time to walk back yeah We're off to Sunset Cliffs. Go get some photos. Hope it doesn't rain on us. Mm, yeah. In the winter, there are hours for the park of no dogs are nine to four. And then in the summer, it's from nine to six. So dogs are allowed before and after, but we just didn't get out of our Airbnb fast enough to go do that but we didn't plan on spending much time there we really just want to take some cool photos there so we're headed there now Wish I could take a say that again the gels have to make me pee more <laughs> here started raining so we made a break for it right when it stopped got out here and it's really really beautiful and now the sun's kind of peeking out which is really nice but it's so windy it's crazy but now we are headed to go get some gelato for breakfast because why not So while we drive to the next spot, I thought it would be fun to talk to you guys a little bit more about the area that we're staying in, especially for all of our fellow dog lovers out there. So we've been staying in the Sunset Cliffs area about Ocean Beach, Ocean area. Beach area, somewhere in that vicinity, kind of between the two. We're like eight minutes from Sunset Beach, a 12 minute walk from Ocean Beach. Um, and it's super, super beautiful here. But one thing that we've noticed a ton about this area in particular compared to some of the other areas we've been in in town is that there are dogs 
everywhere. Everywhere has dog bowls outside for dogs to get drink. There's dog bags everywhere. It's just like a little dog heaven. So even though dogs aren't necessarily allowed to go on the beaches in a lot of places or even so even though dogs aren't necessarily allowed to go on the beaches or at least all of the beaches there is a huge dog friendly beach like we showed you guys last night but lots of places to take your dog yeah and Coda loves it so that part's been really great so we don't want to make it seem like this place is not dog friendly because it actually is super dog friendly compared to so many places we've been and it obviously is a very dog friendly loved community so it's been a good time Finished ice cream, just made it back to the car. Jayla, where are we heading next? The bathroom. Oh hi guys. So found the bathroom in Target after a minute, but now we drove all the way down towards I have a photo for you tonight, so we started heading in that direction so that way we're just in the area, so that way we're not worried about having to drive in any potential traffic or anything this evening. And so we ended up, I wanna say it's called a Cariff, Cariff, by the sea, I think is what it's called, or Cardiff, Cardiff. So sorry if I'm butchering what this is called. But we're over here, we went into a few shops, we went into a Patagonia shop because we love going into those shops because they're always fun because they're really catered to the adventures in the area. So this one was more surf themed and we're used to mountain themed. So we did that and now we're going to go take Coda on this little walk that kind of walks the Pacific Highway and just enjoy the sunshine because it finally came out which is such a blessing because we're worried that it's going to be rainy all day but it's not so we're gonna go on a walk stretch our legs before my session tonight and then after our session we'll check off thing number four on our list which is get some in and out burgers but we had a lovely afternoon it was a really really pretty walk and it kind of overlooked the ocean and all these really cool houses but we are definitely feeling hungry so we're gonna go get an early dinner and make our way over to in and out because it just seemed like the right California thing to do. Why she blows? Goodness. Oh All right, my goodness. Tell the people what you order. Double double, animal style, with fries and Neapolitan shake. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do the triple. Is it triple? It's triple triple or three or by three. Three by three and four by four. Sometimes I'll do one of those too. Those are on there, not so secret menu. So that's what I usually get. What do you usually get, Jella? I usually get a double stack with just cheese and onion there and fries go. and sometimes a drink. so boring. And Coda gets nothing. Cause you got fat. Yeah. You get no.
Good morning everybody from our last campground of our little Southern California coastal trip. I can't believe that our time here has already come to an end. It's been an absolutely incredible week. Unfortunately, it has been a little rainy, so we weren't able to finish thing number five that we wanted to do, which was to go on a hike. But we did go on lots of walks and lots of beautiful parks instead, which was really great, but the rain just kind of made things super muddy and slippery, and we really just didn't want to deal with thinking Coda right now between all of our work and things that we had to do. So we decided to opt off out of the hike and in for a lot more other walks around just the area which have been super super beautiful but I wanted to show you guys this view from where we're camping because when we pulled up to this spot it was dark we had no clue what it really looked like and it is a campground campground which isn't our favorite but our view is so good I mean just look at this all the way up here from the tent but yeah, it's a pretty spectacular view to be waking up to over the past few mornings. So I think that gives an end to this week's video, which is so sad, but I am so excited to get back out to the desert and keep chasing this warmer weather. So it's just been so good for my soul. And thank you all so much for tuning in. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would join us we would really appreciate it if you become one of our patreons so we could keep bringing this epic content to you guys so keep on chasing those epic adventures and we'll catch you in the next video Just close your